Hello and welcome back to our Final Fantasy X HD Platinum walkthrough. In the last episode we solved the trials of Mount Gagazet. So now we're leaving the caves. And we're going to Xanarkand. The land of chocolate. No. It's actually it's full of zombies and robots and stupid shit. It comes! It comes! So this is the Sanctuary Keeper. Um, it's a boss. A very predictable boss. And the first thing I'm going to say is it always opens with an attack called Photon Wings, I believe. Now this will inflict you with a variety of status effects, so I hope you took my advice in the last video and put on your status protection equipment. I didn't. <clears throat> now I'm casting Protect first. That was a little tactical error. Uh, if I had summoned an Aeon first, I could have tanked the uh, Photon Wings. And I wouldn't have gotten hit by anything. Because this boss is an idiot. And he just he does everything in a set order. So he's easy enough to be. So we can poison him with bio. You can hit him with break. You can do all sorts of things to him. Now obviously everyone's fallen asleep and they've all been hit by curse and Oh it's terrible. But as soon it can clear everything except for curse. So you know, and all Curse does is prevent you from using your overdrives. Annoying, but not the end of the world. And if I could target the person I want to do, that would be even better. So, he uses Photon Wings, then he attacks a few times, and then he uses it again. And once his health is down to half, he'll start using Kiraga. And that's it. That's literally it. He's a very simple boss, apart from the status effects. So, all I can say is use Protect to defend yourself from his annoying physical attacks. They do a fair bit of damage, but nothing major. Hit him with your overdrives. Bring in an Aeon when you think he's going to use Photon Wings. Cast Reflect on him at some point to make sure that he can't heal you. Or that he can't heal himself, but will heal you instead. And you've got yourself an easy boss. I mean, really. So obviously, due to curse, I can't use Grand Summon, which is a little annoying. But whatever. So I'm going to cast Reflect on him right away. Uh, as I said, you can use Bio to poison him. But I'm not going to bother. So, I might as well get Reflect on him now. And then, you know, whatever. So I can use an Abed Potion, get everyone's health up a little bit. That's fine. Oh yeah, he does that too. So that's a single uh, target attack. Mana Breath, or whatever it's called. And after he does that, he'll go back to using Photon Wings, I believe. So Hastiga is the way to go. But, and as you can see, we have a ton of turns now. We can do whatever we want. I'm going to use Cura. I'll walk up. Bring in Kamari, who can use his overdrive. I'll just use jump. It's not going to do much damage, but it's going to do some damage, and that's acceptable. So there you go, a thousand damage. It's actually so rubbish, but whatever. That's Kamari in a nutshell. Excuse me. So I'm going to spread out Reflect, put it on Titus as well. Uh, Titus, of course, is always handy because he can cast haste, and he does a fair bit of damage. Oh, yeah, Tail Sweep. Yeah, sorry, he has a set pattern, I didn't even look it up. Um, yeah, I think Tail Sweep is followed by Photon Wing, which is why I'm now summoning Ixion. Here we go. Doesn't matter what Aeon you summon, just know that he will kill them at some point. So, you know. Ixion, Ifrit, and Shiva are all handy because they can heal themselves. But, um,. You know, it doesn't really matter. So now, here we go. Ah, uh, Kiraga, he tried to heal himself. And he's doing it again. And again, he's healing me. And he's back to Photon Wings. See, that's how useful Reflect is. He would have been up 20,000 health there otherwise. Now, Curse does affect the Aeons. I think it's the only status effect 
other than death that does affect them. But he's done. I don't even know if death affects him. I'm just going on the Yojimbo last way. But uh So yes. Just keep attacking, there's no point in dismissing him. So his mana breath will take him out anyway. And that's it. Rinse and repeat, you guys. Very straightforward boss fight. So we're back in. Just keep wailing on him. Tail sweep. Which he'll follow up with uh, probably attempting to cast Cure again, but I'm not sure. Uh, I'm just bringing in Lulu to use her. Of course, he has Reflect, so I can't cast any spells. I'll just use Reflex to erase everyone's evasion. It's not majorly important, but if it helps, it helps. So yeah, there we go. He cast Reflect on Yuna. Which means now if Yuna tries to heal herself, it will heal him. But whatever, I can always just spell it. But there's not really much point. Um, that's because he doesn't have much health left. So I'll bring in Orin. Give him a smack. <coughs> bring in Waka. Give him another smack. And bring Yuna back. And I believe we're just going to finish this off with Bahamut. With a nice Mega Flare for effect. Put him out of his misery with a delightful overkill. His overkill value is, of course, 6,400. He's only got 40,000 health, so once you take away his ability to cure himself, he is a bit of a pushover. Certainly not a very dangerous boss to open Xanarkin with. Uh, especially after Seymour Flux, and compared to the f two bosses coming up after him. He is really weak, but uh, that's the end of the Sanctuary Keeper. Ooh. There's really nothing more to say about him. Um, if you are having trouble with him, um, what can I say? Two or three goes around and you should have his pattern down pat. He never changes it, only to add in the two Kiragas. So, <coughs> excuse me, I wouldn't worry about him at all. That's why I want to stop for a bit. So Riku's getting lazy, and that's fine. There's not much time left. Riku. No, not much time left. Give it up. Fine. Forget I'll about it. Oh yeah. So we all get some AP, that's lovely. We get two return spheres for beating him, we get the halftime, which halves MP cost. Not so great for Waka, really, but not so bad either, so I'll toss something out for it. Come on, let's go. Alright, I'm coming, Waka. We are. We're almost there, aren't we? Yes. We're We've almost come there. A long way. Almost home, Titus. What's so funny? You remind me of myself. Hmm? Before, the closer I came to Xanarkin, the more I wondered. When we arrive, Brasco will call the final Aeon. He will fight Sin, then die. I thought my mind was made up long before. But when I stood here, my resolve wavered. Orin showing he does have a soft side after all. Figured. Legendary guardians choke sometimes too, yeah? <coughs> Legendary <laughs> guardian. I was just a boy. A just boy a boy. Your age, actually. I wanted to change the world too. But I changed nothing. Bummer. That is my story. Orin's a cool guy, you know. A lot of people, he's the only character in the game that can stand, but I don't know. I like most of the cast, to be honest. So we're sphere gridding it up. Um, Orin's sitting pretty on top of nine sphere levels there. Kamari's HP. Uh, Titus moves along. We'll leave those two where they are. And we'll move on. 
So this is a very cutscene heavy episode, apart from that boss fight. I'll let you know now. Uh, I don't believe we're going to get any items. A city dead for a thousand years. Or even, oh my god, a city dead for a thousand years. We get that nice a line delivery. I had to see with my own eyes. But, uh, not much is going to happen in this video from here on. So I will warn you that. The end of Yuna's journey. But if you want to hear me talking over cutscenes, stick around, eh? So the end of Yuna's journey. The last chapter in my story. Now he says that. Once we do Zanakin, we're going to do a whole bunch of side quests before we my thoughts, actually finish kept the game. Floating up and then so, slipping through my fingers. You know, slipping away. Titus doesn't know how far I away he really is. Them down with words. Yuna, I say no. If we go down there, then you you'll... say yes. I say no. But do you like the Beatles? Everyone likes the Beatles. You're Anyone who says they don't, and I thank you. It's just being contrary. I must go down to Zanarkand. Down to Zanarkand. I'm not saying we shouldn't go. Good name for a band. Down to Zanarkand. But should we think about it some more? There's got to be some kind of way we can save you, Yuna. I'm afraid not. All my life, I knew this moment would come. Me too. Uni. Thank you. Riku. Thank it's an awkward looking hug, isn't it? The low hug. The arm pinning hug. Don't say that, you I prefer to hug people around the shoulders rather than it's not over around yet. the elbows. But to each their own. Tell Sid. Thank you. You can tell him yourself. <laughs> you can tell him yourself. Yeah, I got that. Saw that coming. Please. Uni, don't say that because we're gonna see each other again, okay? We still have the whole of Xanarkin to go. go. I mean, chill out, Riku. Alright, so here's this sphere. I don't know if you can actually pass this out. Yuna must have dropped it while she was hugging Riku in that awkward fashion. I almost said hugging Yuna. Which would be weird. But anyway. So Titus, through the power of listening, is able to cast his mind back through time and see things through Yuna's eyes. I believe what we're listening to here is one of those if you are when watching this, I am already dead. Type videos. To Besaid, it was you who told Kamari, right? I Ye. have always wanted to meet you someday. This is like Yuna's last will and testament. I am right? truly glad that I had that chance. Chance to say goodbye posthumously so to the magical technology of spheres that you. record things somehow. Perhaps if I defeat Sin, that will be my thanks to you. That's what I'll do. Yes. I wanted a box of chocolates, not I will defeating sin. sin. I will right. defeat sin. If you are all there watching this, then I guess sin is already gone. This was before and we met so Riku. So if you're gonna be like, why didn't she mention Riku? She's such a bitch. That's her anyway, cousin, goddamn. Just, just chill out, all right? Sir Oren, be nice. I thank you. Waka is gonna sit Can there and look at that chocobo. <laughs> Punch the ground. Do you remember the first what's wrong with him? Met? I was only seven. Oh. My father had defeated Sin, and all Bavel was celebrating. I'm gonna take some vitamin C. Everyone's uh, chewable hero my father was. tablets. I was so One gram happy. dose. But I'm gonna take two of them, came, which will be 2,500 percent of my recommended daily allowance of vitamin C. It will also be a hundred milligrams of I citrus bioflavonoids, so I which give it an extremely sour orangey taste. But here we go. Oh no! Oh, that's one. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, oh, so sour. I could see the fields where he had fallen. Oh. Mm. 
I like you it. Appeared, Kamari. I like it. But you said you were looking for the daughter don't ask and talk me face. At first, Fucking hell. I was so scared. Now for number two. Until I realized what a gentle Juggle two on the other side of my mouth to get a sense of balance. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. You weren't used to talking to children. Oh, uh. When I told you that I was Braska's daughter, you said you would take mm, me as yeah. far from Bavel as yeah. you could. That it was the wish of a man facing death. Oy vey. I think I cried then. Who was the man then, facing death? That was when I knew my father was, was it dead. Braska? And I or was it Orin? See him again. You just Where did Braska fight sin? Without saying a word. Oh my face. After we got to Bisaid, uh. too, ah, that was good. Go, after Feel full of vitamin C now. Temple, no disease I can pierce my cry. iron don't hide. Go, don't go. <laughs> <Did> you listen, <laughs> Kamari? You stayed. Influenza? Kamari, I don't think so. The common cold or so rhinovirus, much. as it's known. And Hell no. Horn. AIDS? Unlikely. Waka. Ah, I am immune to all known diseases. With you. Growing up in Besaid, we always played together, us and Chapu. Chapu, Chapu, That's Chapu. Why I was always so happy, I think. And when you refused to let me become a summoner, and I did it anyway. Yes. I'm sorry. I've always you should be sorry. But you could have apologized right away. You know, when you tried to stop me, then. Oh, I'm back. Really, Oh, I'm stretching. I could tell you really cared about me. You were like Oh look at like who voiced Yuna. Should have bang up job you know, whoever she was. I think you really were you know. my big brother and sister. Voice actor. What else? Uh, <laughs> I love watching Hedy Barres. Hedy. Like in uh love it when you scold me, Lulu. Blazing Saddles. Hedy Lamar. <laughs> really? Hey, eh? I'll look that up. I guess that leaves. Hedy Lamar. The newest guardian. Star player of the Xanarkand Apes. Oh, anyway, that's the woman. You so, are... who's the one in Blazing Saddles? I am. Well, um. I'm glad. I'm glad that we met. We haven't even known each other that long, but... Hmm. <sighs> it's funny. So... So this is what it feels like. It's a much more wonderful feeling da -da -da. than anything da -da -da. I ever imagined. Headley! Headley Lamar! That's it. Ah, I I'm here. I watch the movie like every year and I can't remember that. It's Headley! Headley! I wonder... Yeah. Good movie. I... If you haven't seen Blazing Saddles of all things... Thank I you. thoroughly recommend it. In fact, all those Mel Brooks comedy Maybe. movies, watch them if you like to laugh. Maybe that's why it hurts. And have a unsophisticated when sense of humor, shall we say. When I think about us never being together. And may the Schwartz be with you. Okie dokie. I'm afraid. Yuna's sad because she wants to bone Titus, but she knows she's gonna die. Um it's fine. I mean, something to be sad about, like, it's more. decent. When you fall in love, don't fight sin. What you up to? Anyway, what you up to? Titus guilelessly interrupting, as he does. And we're back on the mountain path. So let's follow this linear path towards the red arrow on the map. If you get lost here, please consider never playing video games again. So yes, yeah, so it's a linear path. There's nothing to pick up, nothing to think about, nothing to do, nothing to see. Well, there's something to see. The ruins of ancient Xanarkand litter the ground. Soon we'll be making our way through those ruins. Ruins? 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 I feel like you have to pronounce the I in ruins, otherwise you're just saying runes. Which is a different thing altogether. It's a, a a Norse alphabet of sorts, isn't it? Pardon me. Well, here we are. 
back at the start of the game. Um, I probably skipped this in the first episode, I don't remember. But everyone stands around, Tazanakin plays, everybody's sad, Tita says, this is my story, blah blah blah. Like Fred Savage in the Wonder Years. Um, yeah. Riku is racking her brains for a way to save Yuna. But she's not going to think of anything because she doesn't have all the available data. We will soon have all the available data and come up with a plan to save Yuna. Don't you worry. In fact, I already know. I know the plan. I've played the game before. Mm. Mm, that's right. Maybe that's a spoiler to you guys. Probably not, though. Ugh. So, Yuna is sad. Titus is also sad. But he's going to go over here and have a soliloquy about how sad he is. Like all the greatest men, he can only have emotions while on a hill. I know, I'm the same. Well, Titus. Come on, man. Do something. Look at the fireflies flying around in the background. What's up with that? Huh? What's up with that? Listen to my story. Okay. This may be our last chance. All right. Good story, Titus. Thank you. Hey, there was more, right? I mean, like that time. Uh, anyone? So they've sat around the campfire, regaling each other with old yes. tales. I think that we should stop. Maybe. For now. Okay. Now this music plays for a good while. Uh, I'm tempted to say it's Wandering Flame, but I'm not sure. But it's a good song and I like it a lot. Let's go! Let's go! Barbie girl! Alright. So, with that, I will see you in the next episode of our Final Fantasy 10 HD Platinum walkthrough. So stay tuned for that, and I will uh, catch you on the flip side, home dog.